Okay, hey and welcome to um, an ICH2 blog type uh, video thing. Um, I'm basically doing this because I've got lots and lots to say and there's no way Twitter can <laughs> cope with everything I've got to say. Um, and not everybody follows Twitter anyway, not everyone's on there so not everybody sees the updates I make and stuff. Plus the news and updates thing on the website I haven't set up on my new phone yet. So, um, apologies for, for a lack of information there. Um, you'll have to excuse uh, me lo looking as rough as a ball that's been dragged through the back of a hedge. But uh, I've got a bit of a cold. Well, I'm on the back end of a cold at the moment. And before that I uh, had an accident with a mate and fractured my rib as well. So, And then because I've, because I've like fractured my rib, um, I keep having to push myself up off my arm. And I've now done my elbow in too, so so yeah, apologies for that. Um, never mind, I'll be okay. But I had lots and lots to say, and I thought that this was the best way to do it, so you'll have to please bear with me while I do that. I, I've never done anything like this before. Um, I'm not like kind of the kind of I'm not the kind of person that does this kind of thing, but I just thought it would be the best way to do it. Um, I was chatting to a mate online, uh, Callum and um, we were talking about the websites and stuff which I'll come back to and he said uh, uh, yeah go for it so I thought right I'll go for it I'll do it so there we go okay uh, first thing is yes the website uh, the ICHC website has been live for hmm, how long now since April or something like that April or May I can't remember um, it took ages to develop it's really hard work <laughs> it's really hard work to design all that and to make it look just right is not easy uh, and as for that database thing oh my god that took an age honestly I do not recommend anybody else do that I if so if I knew now if I knew what I know now back then there is no way I would have done it because photographing every single coach every single locomotive every wagon I, 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 all I can say is I know how it felt when they built the pyramids because it, it was just this never ending task it was really tough really tough but um, it's nearly done uh, the, there's actually a massive um, update waiting to go online uh, the shop uh, is ready the media gallery hopefully will be ready the, um, there's a huge revamp to the uh, help section uh, when you click the help section in the corner now, it, there's gonna, you're going to be presented with loads of buttons again and you're, there's like an experts corner um, where I've got mates such as Ewan who are going to be there to answer lots and lots of technical questions because I mean pe people think just because I, right, because I run ICA2 and do all these train videos that I know tons about trains I don't! I, I really don't! I, I spent 18 years mad on aircraft um, so if you've got a question about the Airbus A380 or the aerodynamics of Concorde I'm your man but when it comes to trains I'm still learning I really am which is why I make mistakes so go easy on me if I call something safety valves and they're not you know just politely correct me and say hey we'll actually because uh, that's appreciated I'll learn you know you don't have to be a bit of a I can't swear. You don't have to be a you know what about it. You can be uh, nice. So, but the experts corner is going to be a little place where you can go to if you've got a question about something, and hopefully one somebody will uh, answer a question for you and help you out. Uh, so that's good. Uh, there's also going to be a recommended YouTubers. Uh, I'm not doing recommendation vids anymore. No 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 no. It's a real grey area when it comes to YouTube. Um, being okay with you. YouTube really don't like you using stuff that's not yours whether that's photos, music, video, whatever. Uh, they really don't like it. I mean when I did the uh, layout videos of Michael's dad's N-Gage, the big, the huge American N-Gage loco, which for some reason everybody made thought that was my dad. No, it's Michael's dad's layout. Um, but anyway that layout, the footage of it, uh, YouTube wouldn't let me um, activate adverts on that. They wouldn't let me monetize that. Uh, they, I don't know why. They didn't say why. They just said no. This isn't yours. And I'm like, uh, 
it is, it definitely is. <laughs> it's my camera, I was there. Um, but they let me um, monetize footage from York and the Seven Valley Railway and stuff, which I definitely don't own. I wish I did. Uh, so I don't understand that. YouTube can be a real, can be really strange at times. So I'm not going to do recommendation vids again. Um, what I am going to do, which is kind of better, really, is have a dedicated section on the ICH2 website for um, recommended YouTubers. So if you have a channel and you think it's pretty cool and you would like to be there in the recommended YouTubers section, then you have to come to me, you have to ask me, you have to request to be there because I'm, I'm not going to go out and I haven't got time to go out and seek people really. Um, there's a couple of channels that I definitely will put there because just because I love them. I love the Blue Zephos guys, Simon and Lewis, that do the Minecraft vids. Yes, I'm into Minecraft. Uh, the the video, the Meet Me, uh, the 3000 sub special one. Every, the, the, the Creeper was the star of the show. Uh, I was like there answering all these questions. But if you just like, look down the comments, everyone's, oh, Creeper, Creeper, Minecraft for the win. Oh, that's so rude. Um, but yes, I do like Minecraft, so I love the Blue Zephos guys, and I love Ashens as well, Stuart Ashen, who runs uh, the YouTube Ash, the YouTube channel Ashens. Uh, he, he was basically the inspiration for me. It's him getting, um, you know, boxes of stuff and looking at it on his famous brown sofa that made me think one day when a train came, yeah, I'm going to do that with a train. So. Yeah, they'll, they'll be there, but th of course there'll be lots of train people as well. Um, I've got quite a few mates that have really, really nice channels, such as Michael, um, who's in America at the moment. Uh, Ewan, I like his channel. Nick, uh, Harry, um, uh, uh, Lewis, uh, Lewis, yeah, what a, what a guy. So, <laughs> even a little one. But yeah, it's, um, it's really cool. So if you want to be in the recommended YouTubers bit, uh, you have to let me know. Um, go to the website and use the contact form, or go to my go to my channel and click on my name and click uh, send message or something like that. Uh, okay, uh, next uh, website. We we are still having problems with the website forum. Um, spam bots are attacking the forum on that website every hour, less than every hour. It's ridiculous. I, the only way I'm basically keeping the forum spam free is I've basically, if you think of the forum as like a little village and before anybody could just come in and out as they wanted, well I've put a massive wall around that village with a couple of bouncers on the doors and well those bouncers are me, I'm basically having to um, check every single new application and get rid of any that are fake and approve any that are genuine and that is taking a lot of time and I, I'm really struggling to do it. So I, I did implement a question thing um, when you register, so I mean thankfully most people have registered but there's still new, there's still some new people coming through um, and so if you try to register now you'll see that there's some questions such as like the class 92, what type of loco is it, diesel, steam, electric, well, obviously it's electric so you have to type in electric and you'll be approved but uh, some of the questions are really easy, like three times seven or something, and I think the spam bots are basically just banging in tons of numbers until they get it right, and they're getting through. They can't post anything because I still have to approve them, but they are, yeah, they're causing me a bit of a nightmare. So that's not ideal. Um, I'm going to try and do the best I can with the the forum thing because I definitely don't want to close it down. Uh, it seems like it's, I mean it's not um, massively popular, but there are quite a lot of people that use it and really like it. And I think it will be used even more once the media gallery goes online and stuff and people are sharing photos and things. So so I'll, I'll do my best. I'm going to enter some new questions and make the questions really specific. So for example, one of the questions I've put on today is, what's IC82's favourite locomotive? Well, it's the Class 58. Everybody should know that. So you can type in class 58, I've even put it so that you can type capital C class 58 or just 58 even. Um, so there's several answers that are right and it will accept but if you type in, uh, I don't know, A4 Pacific Mallard or something, obviously it's a no. Because it's not my favourite locomotive and 
uh, the forum software will detect that you're not putting in the right answer so it will stop you from registering. So I'll try my best with that. Uh, so yeah, spam bots are a nightmare. Um, something else that I'm, I'm going to talk to talk to you about now is trolls. Now, um, everybody has their fair share of trolls, but they're no bad thing. You've got to love trolls, and I love them. And I, I, I do attract a fair share of them, but I am... Um, basically, all I'll say is, anybody that obviously um, says something offensive, or they... You know, if somebody comes along and they just start swearing like a right trooper, um, in the comments, or they start sending me abusive messages or something like that, then um, obviously I delete those uh, comments, I delete those messages, and if the person keeps it up, then I block the user, so that that person's going to, if they want to keep doing it, they're going to have to create a new account, and then they'll just get blocked again, and then have to, and eventually I think they'll get bored, most people do. Um, but uh, even, you know, for for ages, I had the likes and dislikes things uh, disabled because it was really annoying me when trolls come along and just click dislike, dislike, dislike. I mean, I saw one lad in an internet cafe once dislike a video which he loved. Just I was like, well, why have you done that? I was like, well, why not? Oh. So yeah, the youth of today. Um, but basically, oh, sorry, my phone bleeping there. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because. Um, it's views and subscribers that count. Uh, I've recently gone through a whole partnership training program thing with YouTube and in all the stuff that I had to go through um, all they ever talk about is subscribers and views. Um, likes and dislikes don't even come into it. And what's really great is that if you're a troll and you, and you want to wind somebody up and you want to go to their video just to click dislike you're 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 triggering a view. You are adding. You're notching up the counter one more by doing that. You're making that video more popular by trying to dislike it, by trying to be a bit of a a moron, you know. Um, so it really doesn't matter. It's views and subscribers that count. It's not likes and dislikes. They don't have anything to do with it. Um, so. Anybody that has got a channel and they're being plagued by trolls or they're being plagued by... Usually it's mates from school or something. Um, and they just keep coming along to your videos and hammering the dislike button. Don't worry about it. And if it, if it really is bugging you, uh, when your video is uploading now, you have the option to... Like, on one of the tabs, you have the option to disable likes and dislikes. So if it's really, really bugging you, just disable it and stop them from doing it. Uh, but what I'm saying is you don't need to, you don't need to do that. It's the views and the subscribers that count. They're what impress YouTube and they are what make money. They are what generate ad revenue and whatever else. Likes and dislikes, they have nothing to do with it. So don't worry about it. Um, I do appreciate genuine feedback. But I mean genuine feedback, so somebody typing out, uh, I really liked your video today, Will, the uh, locos were dead nice, uh, but could you get some better camera shots? That's fine. But somebody come along, somebody coming along and saying, oh, this train is gay. <laughs> That's not really very useful. Um, so it's just delete, block, go get a life. Uh, that, that makes me laugh too. You get, you get trolls that come along and they, I don't know how they come across my videos, but they're like, oh, this person needs to get a life. I, I do have one, thank you. I have a very, very busy one, a very, very cool one. It's you who are taking the time out to tell me to get me one. Um, so <laughs> maybe you need to look at yourself. Anyway, moving on from Trolls, um, Series 4 Prologue has started. Uh, Series 4 Prologue is basically a... Oh God, again, apologies for feeling tired, I've got a bit of a cold, I can feel it there. Um, series 4 Prologue is a mini-series of vids. So it's loads of locomotives that I looked at years ago but didn't do a very good job on. I was, you know, I was, I was brand new to it all back then. I didn't do things the same way. The videos weren't as polished. They weren't as fancy. So um, I've been asked by loads and loads of people, excuse me, over the past two years to do them again. Again and again and again. So uh, I thought, yeah, okay, I'll go do that. So I um, made a list of all the locomotives that have got to be looked at again, 
and basically I'm going to be hammering those out over the next several weeks quite intensely. I've been slowed down this week a little bit by having to do some studying and by having a fractured rib and a cold. <laughs> but um, rest assured there will be at least a video every Friday night and I hope to get a video up in the middle of the week as well and a video maybe on a Sunday night sometimes, sometimes uh, if I can do it. So yeah, Series 4 Prologue has started. So as soon as Series 4 Prologue is finished, as soon as that ends, we go into Series 4, the proper Series 4, which is going to look at locos like this. And do you remember this one from the special, the 5,000 subscriber special? I, I can't believe that it's um, well over 5,000 subscribers already. I'm going to have to start planning a 6,000, which is a little bit crazy. Uh, this is uh, another one as well. This is a, a nice class 90. Um, and then there's a, a black sound there, a, a black sound, a black five, a uh, Hornby DCC sound. That's come from Mark, uh, who runs the Mallard 690 channel on YouTube, as well as MJ Traction and uh, another one, I think. Um, I met him in Somerset, so that locomotive is here to do a video on. And there's even like this this class 92 here, which which one's this? Uh, oh, Algar. This one's Algar, which is nice. So those uh, locos have yet to be looked at. Uh, plus, of course, there's train sets. There's the uh, is it blue rapier? Yeah, the blue rapier. There's um, there's a couple of A4 Pacifics. There's the Midland Compound by Batman, which I got from Railfest. There's Lego too. Yeah, Lego has Lego is making a comeback as he scans around the desk looking for any Lego, but there's no Lego. So yeah, there's going to be Lego train sets again. Um, the Lego videos were up, but they had music in them. They were copyrighted. Mu it was copyrighted music, and YouTube said you have to take them down. So I took them down. And they didn't. They didn't force me, but they. I could tell that they weren't happy. So I, I took them down. But I will do them again, and. Uh, yeah, there's going to be more regular LEGO videos as well, because I love LEGO. Who doesn't like LEGO? I wouldn't trust anybody that doesn't like LEGO. And there's even, and this is quite spectacular, this is quite cool. Uh, look, look, look! Engage! Yes! Oh, it's real! Engage! Um, I now have an Engage layout going all around my desk as well. So, I'm going to do some videos on Engage. So we've got LEGO, we've got Engage, we've got loads of new train sets, and there's even going to be Thomas the Tank. Um, a lot of my viewers are quite young. Um, in fact, if I can just do a big hello to Elijah from Washington State, I think, in the United States. I favorited his video. He's on my favorites list. Possibly my my youngest <laughs> my youngest viewer yet, my youngest fan. Uh, yeah, what a little sweetheart. Um, I did. I had no idea that my videos were were so popular with uh, such young um, viewers, such young YouTube users. So uh, there's going to be some more Thomas the Tank videos. More? There haven't been any yet. Um, but I'm waiting for a particular train set. I'm actually waiting for the, uh, the Hornby Breakdown train set, which is Thomas with uh, his breakdown train and like a wagon or something on the back. Because when I was little, I loved Thomas the Tank Engine. I still do. And I loved the breakdown train. I mean, that episode where uh, Thomas and James... Um, no, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's James. I think he has... I think his brakes fail. I think he has wooden brakes and they fail. And um, he just hurtles it down. He's like he's a runaway train, basically. And he crashes into loads of tar wagons or something. That really scared me. When I was little, when you're like five or six years old, that is scary stuff. Well, it, it was back in the 80s anyway. So... I, I, I definitely want the breakdown train, and I'm waiting for it to come out, but Hornby are taking their time in bringing stuff out, because they've got their factories working at capacity or something, and there's problems with the workers over in China, and there's there's like a backlog of stuff to do, or I, I don't know. So um, as soon as that does come out, uh, you can rest assured that there will be a video on that. Uh, there'll also be a video on the Blue Pullman, the Midland Pullman, the uh, one-off, really, really cool, uh, almost Intercity 125-like uh, 
DMU that operated in the 70s. Uh, Backman are bringing out a gorgeous example of it and I have got one pre-ordered so I shall do a video on that as well as soon as I can. And talking of videos people want me to do, um, we've got quite we've got something quite interesting if I can just talk about that briefly um, and that's the uh, IC82 website is going to start selling train sets is going to start selling stuff that I've looked at and reviewed but don't want so people because you see the thing is people keep asking me to look at stuff that I don't really want like the the class 350 desire no that that's not fair I, I do want one of those I just haven't got the money at the moment I've, I keep spending it on other stuff um, but the class D50 Desiro, the Flying Scotsman, oh, th does YouTube really need another video on the Flying Scotsman? I mean really, you type Flying Scotsman into YouTube and 18 billion videos come up. However, people keep asking me to do one, so if I'm going to do a video on the Flying Scotsman and a video on Mallard and a video on Thomas and Bertie or whatever, because I'm not going to want to keep them, and I'm not, uh, they never ran through crew, they're not based in the Northwest. I, I, what I can do is I can do videos for people and then I can put the train sets on the IC82 shop and sell it on. I'm going to, oh, don't worry, I'll sign it. <laughs> I'll sign it, but it'll be at a knockdown price as well. So if I buy a train set for like 120 quid or something, um, it'll go onto the shop at about 90 or 100. So if you're if you're after something and you want a, a good bargain, a good deal, it might be worth going along to the IC82 shop once it's open to buy something that I've reviewed but I don't want to keep. So tell me what you think about that, tell me your thoughts on that um, and if you have any suggestions, if you have anything you'd like to see me do, uh, let me know. Uh, there's also going to be a special requests section on the website because I get tons of requests and I'm really sorry I haven't been able to do them. I've lost half of them, but I'm going to put a special form in on the website and it's going to be much fancier than the, the contact form that's on there now and that one's going to be upgraded anyway, that's going to be made much nicer. But yeah, there's going to be a special request section so you can say, um, I would like to see the Black 5 pulling a rake of passenger coaches at speed or I would like to see the Intercity 125 have a race with another Intercity 125 or something like that. So you can put in your requests and they will get sent to me. I can't guarantee I'll do them all, but um, I might be able to do something fancy with the website like where they get published to like a, a, a forum or something and people can vote for what they want to see the most and then I base every one, maybe once a month or something I do uh, the video people want me to do the most or something like that. I don't know, let me know your thoughts, tell me what you'd like uh, me to do and I will uh, try my best. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? The new layout. Uh, oh, please stop asking me to see the new layout. It's getting annoying. Really annoying. There is a new layout. It has three main lines. It's on three levels. Okay, there's a huge central level, which has got the three main lines on. There's like a little branch line above it that goes all the way around. And then underneath is the fiddle yard. So out of the way is this massive fiddle yard underneath, um, which as it goes around it slowly climbs and then comes up to like the main level and it's just over there it's just in one of the upstairs bedrooms which is probably two or three times the size of the conservatory so it's quite big but I'm doing this properly this is my layout seriously I'm gonna this is a plea to everybody on YouTube this is my layout okay my railway my dream and I want to do it my way, in my at my own pace. Um, I know that I said last year the videos on it would start this year, and they kind of have because I've done part one. But I've I, I basically want just like the um, the Blue Zephos guys. You see, when you search for for Minecraft videos, you're almost certainly going to come across Simon and Lewis, and you know they've got like that whole Shadow of Israfel thing. Um, well, that started off with them surviving the first night and loads of people they'll, they'll watch video 43 or video 67 or something but they'll go right back to video 1 and watch it right through properly well a lot of them do 
And I want people to do the same with mine. I want in two, two years time, five years time, somebody to go to YouTube and type uh, model railway uh, ballasting or um, trackside scenics or something like that. And they'll watch uh, Will's model railway part 27 and they'll really like it. But I want them to go back to part one um, if they want to, if they choose to. And I want part one to lead into part two, which leads perfectly into part three and part four and so on. So I'm, I'm really sorry if you're dying to see it, and you will in part two. You'll get to see the designs. There's a, a really cool model. Michael, who runs uh, Streamline Trains, he had a, an awesome paper and card model of his layout. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to do the same. So I, there's there's a model of it, and there's designs and tons of like mood boards and screenshots for you to look at and stuff. But I'm I only have a buffer of so many hours of footage because I have to be honest, I haven't worked on it in a long time, months and months and months and months and months. So once I've used up that buffer, I'm going to be stuck. I've got to start filming it again, but I've got to get all these videos done as well first. I've got to get all these reviews done and all these train sets. Plus, people keep asking me how to DCC a steam loco and how to add lights to the Class 92 and things like that. So I'm trying my best. Um, people forget I do have a job. <laughs> In fact, I have three. So um, time is time can be quite precious, and I I do the best I can. But yes, the new layout is coming, it is awesome, but I don't plan to get it all done in one year. I have been designing and dreaming of this layout since I was little. Since I was four years old, I have been designing this layout. <clears throat> and it's only now that I have the time and the money to do it. Because it's not cheap, let's be honest. Railways, model railways aren't cheap. You can only do what you can when you can afford to. So, and, and I spend a lot of money on other things as well. <laughs> I go out a lot, I go see mates, I've just bought a, a quite fancy car which costs quite a lot of money. And I spend a lot of money on uh, PS3 and um, uh, what else do I spend my money on? I, I go on holiday and trainers, I've got loads of trainers and they're not cheap. So, um, I do the best I can and we all do the best I can. We all do the best we can. So, the new layout is coming. In the meantime, uh, please continue to enjoy the temporary layout. And it is temporary, it's just the conservatory layout. That's why it's blue tack. That's why I'm not hammering nails into the conservatory floor. Um, plus, there's going to be uh, videos on Engage stuff coming up and videos on Lego. So, there should be loads to keep you entertained, loads to keep you happy. Okay, hey, and um, welcome back. Sorry about the uh, jump cut, but I actually filled the SD card. <laughs> I can't, it's a four gig card, but I actually filled the card. So that's a sign that I've been talking for way too long and I need to wrap things up quickly. So um, what I was gonna say was, yes, apologies if you are waiting to see me do stuff on the new layout, such as ballast track and glue in trees to the top of a hill and stuff like that, but I'm not there yet. I'm not at that stage yet. That stage, you know, M or P or something, and I'm at stage B, basically woodwork and wiring. So, um, what I recommend is that you go to other people. There are loads of other YouTube users who are way ahead of me, who have been doing this for years. Uh, so, so excuse me. So I recommend that you go and watch their videos and check them out, and you should get all the tips and the help and advice that you need. Um, and then, hey, when I'm there, you can watch mine too. And new people can watch it as if it's new. So that's quite cool. Um, what do I quickly need to... Oh, thank you very much for your uh, messages of support on Twitter. Um, I do have a fractured rib. We've established that. <laughs> and um, it will heal. I will be okay. I was very, very stupid to uh, get that. But yeah, ribs aren't very strong. They can't take 160 kilos. That's not how I, that's, that's not how fat I am, by the way. That's, <laughs> okay, I could do with losing a bit from summer, but that, um, that was me and my mate landing on just this one tiny little bone and yeah. Anyway, um, as for my relatives, well, one of them 
is now out. In fact, no, I think they're both out of hospital now. Uh, they're being cared for. One is in one place and one is in another place. And they're trying to get something sorted so that they're in like a care home together and stuff because they need looking after. So, uh, yeah, that, that ruined my summer, that did. That was not very nice. One of them being rushed off to hospital and then just a bit later, the other one being rushed off to hospital. So that wasn't great, but you know, these things happen. This is life. This is life. You know, it's a roller coaster and it's it's much more fun than the merry-go-round. So what else was I going to say? Uh, yeah, loads of projects coming up. There's the, uh, ooh, if I just lean, ow, <laughs> lean over there, which kills me. There's this uh, APT. So there's the APT project, uh, which is actually Craig's project. Loads of people um, want to see more of Craig. Craig is who I do the railway with. And he is going to do uh, the APT. Uh, he wants to kit it out and make it dead, dead fancy and stuff. So that's his thing, really. But ow, <laughs> I'm going to be doing um, what am I going to be doing? The Class 37 project, which is where I take a dead, dead basic, really naff uh, Hornby Class 37, and I do tons to it. I weather it up. I put lights in, sound in, details, and make it the most awesome 37 in the world. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But, um, yeah, so there's a Class 37 project coming up. I just wanted to show people that you can take something dead cheap and make it better. Um, there's also the Class 91 project, which is courtesy of Harry, uh, who runs uh, LNER Fan 4472. So he gave me his Class 91, uh, which to everybody else is an Intercity 225, the East Coast mainline um, electric train. And it's really, isn't it time that Hornby brought that out again? We, I was talking to some mates about this and we all agreed that it is high time. Hornby, if you're watching, and I know you are, um, please bring back but please bring out the uh, Intercity 225 again. We really, really would like uh, a nice new one. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make your Intercity 225 awesome. Like, seriously awesome. So, if you've got problems with pickups and it cutting out on points, which is basically all the time, I will show you how to fit extra pickups to all the wheels and to chip it and to put lights in it so that it is awesome. And I'll probably just get that project finished and then Hornby will go and bring it on out. But never mind. Um, so yeah, there's loads of projects to come up. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I am on Twitter. Uh, I obviously can't do videos like this all the time, not least because of how long it's taking. But if you desperately want updates and you want to see what I'm up to and you want news on things, follow me on Twitter. I know not everybody's allowed to use it and I know some people don't like it or see the point of it, but it's the best thing I can offer because I can't do this all the time. Um, I am on Facebook, but um, you've got to be a friend. You've got to be a mate. I've got to know who you are. I don't just let any creepy person in. <laughs> you've got to... Uh, uh, yeah, you've just, you've just got to be a mate, basically. I, I need to know who you are, and we need to, like, meet up and do stuff, go to shops and go to railways and things. And if we can do all of that, then that's awesome. And then, yeah, we can swap Facebooks. But if we haven't done all that, or it's going to be very hard to do that, then it's going to be a bit trickier. So I would recommend just Twitter or something. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. <sighs> which is good because with this fractured rib it hurts to even breathe and yesterday uh, in the pub with my with, with Lisa um, she was making me laugh and every time I laughed it, it wrecked it actually wrecked I'd be like <laughs> ow so um, I, it's good that I'm wrapping it up because I need to go I've got lots to do and time is ticking away so Thanks for um, watching this video and for um, listening to me rant on for ages and ages and ages. I really appreciate it. So do please send me feedback. Feel free to post video responses. Feel free to comment. I try my best to reply to comments. I really do. But it is dead, dead hard. Especially because when you sign, when I lo every time I log into YouTube now, it's like you have 132 comments. And I don't. What YouTube's telling me is that I have 132 videos with comments on them. 
and you'll go to one video and there's a whole load of comments waiting to be read and replied to and stuff. So I'll, I'll reply to loads at the top but then somebody will come in and reply to one way down at the bottom and someone new will come in and reply to one at the top and I never get to see the one at the bottom because YouTube only tells me about the one at the top. So I, apologies if I have missed your comments. Apologies if I've never got back to you on something. If it's really, really important, like really important, uh, email me. Use my website. Uh, contact me that way or something, and I will get back to you when I can. But um, I, as I say, yeah, when it comes to comments, I try my best. So uh, please do leave me feedback. Let me know what you think. I do read most of them, um, and I really appreciate your feedback and. Thank you for being awesome subscribers and for being so patient and for being so understanding and for enjoying my videos so much. Uh, I, I do it as a hobby, I do it for fun, but I, I genuinely would not enjoy it as much if I didn't know so many people were enjoying it. So thank you for that. You're awesome. Give yourself a good pat on the back. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will keep it up. I will do my best for you. and try and make the videos uh, as entertaining as, and as enjoyable as possible for as long as I can. Um, and that's it. So, yeah. See ya.